In this video, we're going to look at products and quotients of complex numbers. Suppose Z and W are two complex numbers with polar forms that look like this. They would each have their own modulus and their own arguments. Then the product rule says that to multiply two complex numbers, we can multiply their modulus, their moduli, and add the arguments. To divide two complex numbers, we can divide the modulus, the moduli, and subtract their arguments. In this video, we will develop both of these two forms and look at a geometric interpretation. To develop the product rule of complex numbers in polar form, we can multiply the two polar expressions. Of course, the factors R1 and R2 would be our modulus, our moduli, which we'll multiply those. And then the remaining polar expressions we can FOIL. We'll have cosine of alpha times the cosine of beta gives our first expression. The cosine of alpha times I sine of beta, our second expression. The I sine of alpha times the cosine of beta, our third expression here. And then the I sine alpha times the I sine beta is this fourth expression here. Of course, we recognize the, the factor of I squared is really a multiplication by negative 1. We then proceed to group the two real portions together. And the two imaginary portions. Of course, we'll factor out the common factor of I, but that'll give us this piece. The first one we recognize as the cosine of the sum of two angles. The second one we recognize as the sine of the sum of two angles. This arrives or gives us our soon to be familiar form for the product of two complex numbers. Let's look at a geometric interpretation of this. Given two complex numbers, z and w, in polar form, we can find the product of z and w by multiplying their modulus, 4 times 2 is 8, times the cosine of the sum of the arguments. So the pi over 6 plus 2 pi over 3 gives us yeah, 5 pi over 6 plus i sine 5 pi over 6. If you've adopted the shorthand notation, we can write this as 8 cis 5 pi over 6. Geometrically, we can interpret this multiplication by taking our first complex number, the 4 cis pi over 6, as a complex number that's pointed right here. And this was given to us. The multiplication by w will lengthen our complex number by a factor of 2. The addition of the 2 pi over 3, the beta, will then take our complex number and rotate it counterclockwise by 2 pi over 3 to give us our new complex number 8 cis pi over 6 plus 2 pi over 3. And of course the pi over 6 plus 2 pi over 3 is the 5 pi over 6 that we've already calculated. Now let's look at the quotients of complex numbers in polar form. Given two complex numbers z and w that have forms that look like this, each with their own modulus and their own argument, then the quotient would take the form that looks something like this. To develop our formula for the 
quotient of these complex numbers, we will multiply by the conjugate of the denominator, the cosine of beta minus i sine of beta on both the top and the bottom. Each of these expressions we can FOIL. to get this as our new numerator. Of course, we'll recognize on the top the factor of i squared is really a multiplication by negative 1, which makes this be a plus. We'll then regroup both real portions that we have presented here as our first expression. And then the remaining imaginary pieces, we'll take these two and we'll group those as well factoring out that common factor of i. In the denominator, we'll FOIL that expression out and we'll get what we have here. We notice that the two middle terms, the negative i cosine beta sine beta plus i sine beta cosine beta are the same terms but opposite in sign and so these are going to cancel. Again, the i squared factor is really a multiplication by negative 1, which makes this be plus. And so we'll take our two portions in the bottom, the cosine squared, plus, I, or plus the sine squared in the bottom, which we recognize, of course, as 1, which leaves the quotient of our two moduluses, or, or moduli in the front, and then we recognize the cosine alpha cosine beta plus sine alpha sine beta as the cosine of the difference of two angles. And then the sine of alpha cosine of beta minus cosine of alpha sine beta as the sine of the difference of two angles. And we notice that we've arrived at our, well, soon to be familiar form for dividing two complex numbers in polar form. Let's look at a geometric interpretation. Given two complex numbers in polar form z and w, we can calculate their quotient by dividing their moduli, so 4 divided by 2 is the 2, times the cosine of the difference of the two arguments, alpha minus beta, pi over 6 minus 2 pi over 3 would be negative pi over 2, plus i sine of negative pi over 2, which we can abbreviate as 2 cis negative pi over 2. Geometrically, Geometrically, we can interpret this by taking our first complex number, z, represented as 4 cis pi over 6, dividing by a factor of 2, the modulus of w, to shorten our complex number. The subtraction of beta, the, the 2 pi over 3, will then rotate clockwise our complex number to give us our new complex number 2 cis pi over 6 minus 2 pi over 3 which we've already calculated as negative pi over 2. Well I hope this video is helpful and I'll see you next time.